We kick things off with YouTube, the place to go if you want to be radicalized but are too lazy to read. They're about to make a big change to the site, and if you don't like it, there's no way to tell them. YouTube is going to start hiding the dislike count below videos. That means when you hit the thumbs down button below a video, the person who made that video will still be able to see that, but the total number of dislikes won't be displayed to the public. YouTube says this is all in an effort to promote a more respectful relationship between creators and viewers. Apparently groups of viewers are targeting a video's dislike button to drive up the count turning it into something like a, a, a game with a visible scoreboard. And it's usually just because they don't like the creator or what they stand for. Yeah, finally. This is a great move from YouTube. You shouldn't be able to bully people on YouTube with the dislike button. That's what the comments are for, you know? I like the comments. You can't just click a button. You gotta make an effort. You gotta open up the comment box and you gotta type something. You, go, you gotta tell the creator to stab themselves with a rusty screwdriver. Effort. And by the way, I, I like that YouTube is doing this, but you know what's gonna happen here, right? I mean, getting rid of the thumbs down button isn't gonna solve anything. Trolls are too creative. What's gonna happen now is the first comment on every video is just gonna say thumbs down, and then that's gonna get 10,000 thumbs up. If you ask me, I don't even know why they ever had a dislike button on YouTube. Like, how are you gonna dislike a free video? It's free, you asshole. The only response you should be able to leave on a free thing is thank you for this free thing. And be like, I don't like it, it's free. Tell me your opinions on free shit. Oh, speaking of the dislike button, let's move on to politics. As various high profile Republicans begin to think about running for president in 2024, one of their biggest considerations is what to do about the man who thinks he won the election in 2020, Donald J. Trump. Because that's basically what Trump is gonna be running on. You realize that, right? He was cheated the last time, so that means he deserves another four years, or maybe 30 years as president. But it turns out there is one Republican who is brave or stupid enough to stand in his way. Political blows from Chris Christie and former President Donald Trump. It started with comments the ex-New Jersey governor made over the weekend at the Republican Jewish Coalition's conference. Christie called on Republicans to move past Trump's baseless claim that the 2020 election was stolen from him. We can no longer talk about the past and the past elections. It is over. And now former President Trump is slapping back. Chris Christie was just absolutely massacred by his statements that Republicans have to move on from the past, meaning the 2020 election fraud. Everybody remembers that Chris left New Jersey with a less than 9% approval rating, a record low. They didn't want to hear this from him. Chris Christie then responded in an interview with Axios. Look, I'm not going to get into a, a back and forth with Donald Trump, but what I will say is this. When I ran for re-election in 2013, I got 60% of the vote. When he ran for re-election, he lost to Joe Biden. Uh, something tells me you are going to get into a back and forth with Donald Trump. I like how he's like, I'm not going to get into a back and forth, but let me tell you my shit. This dude is taking a rock to a hornet's nest and being like, I don't want to get in a thing here, but yeah. And look, I do get Chris Christie's point, right? He wants the party to talk about Joe Biden's current failures, not about how China used mind control to delete Trump votes in Georgia or whatever the new story is. But telling Donald Trump to stop obsessing over the 2020 results is like telling Gollum to maybe try a necklace or a bracelet or something. It's not gonna happen. Here's the thing, if Christie wants to play the smarts, this is what he's got to do. He shouldn't tell Trump that he lost the election. He should agree with Trump that he won the election. Yeah, because then he can say, look, Donald, I would love to support you, but you've already served two terms. And then Trump's mind would be blown. He'd be like, wait, I won? Then I'm the president now. That means I'm Joe Biden, but that's a bunch of malarkey. 